Uh, Dr. Carlos, please. Yeah, thank you very much. Good morning, everyone. I was taking down notes uh, earlier as I uh, listened to Senator Poe and uh, Senator Antiveros, and I'd like to address the issues that they have raised. I think I'd like to take off from the point of view of uh, social scientists who's so looking at this from a macro standpoint. So I will not go into the integrity because all my colleagues here have already addressed any uh, many dimensions of the issue. I think the first question of uh, Senator Grace is, do we need uh, to change the constitution that to declare that we're open for business? Um, and the quick and dirty answer there would be no, because you already are making so many legislative actions to open up the economy. But I think the challenge there is, uh, is it opening up enough or are we addressing really what we want to happen? Here, I'd like to go into a bit of epistemology, if you don't mind, which is, you know, when you establish something and you say that you know something, that means you have identified the composite of variables which will bring about a particular result, isn't it? Now here, as I listen to the very intelligent comments uh, around the table and uh, those who are joining us uh, in uh, virtually, and I notice that we are not able to categorize our variables into most critical, less critical, and so on. In other words, we don't have an ordinal list where one is first, second, et cetera. And that one, as uh, I agree with Dr. Fabella, cannot be an article of faith. It has to be empirically grounded. So however much we believe in these things, as a social scientist, if they are not empirically grounded, I laway lang po yan. Okay, so I think uh, because all the senators have their own uh, research component, I would like them to pay attention to grounding all these claims. And it's only if we have the hard evidence, the evidence conditions that will support them, that we can declare that we know something. And the reason why you will notice we're shooting here, there, and everywhere is because we're not able to categorize them into the most important, less important, etc. cetera. Okay, um, of course, remember I've been part of the cabinet for X number of months as National Security Advisor. One of the things I put together there uh, would be to present to our president in one cabinet meeting, I think it was late October or uh, early November, a national strategy. Why do we need a national strategy? And this is where I had, uh, you know, had to cross swords with one of my colleagues, uh, the NEDA head. Sabi niya, but mo pa kailangan national strategy? Andiyan na nga yung ano, NEDA plan, sabi ko. Eh, dinuro ko din siya, sabi ko. Eh, no, bakit naman sa national plan mo wala man lang isang single line than about national security? And because I was the vice chair of the NTFL CAC uh, also at the time, so, bakit wala man lang dyan nakatutok tungkol dun sa mga uh, barangay natin at anong gagawin dito sa mga natitira pa? na mga uh, influence barangay. Wala talaga doon eh. I mean, i-google ninyo yan. At ano, uh, saliksikin nyo yan. Okay, what am I saying? If we're just shooting here, there, and everywhere, and we don't have anything, a big picture, that will crochet together, that will stitch together all these things, then we don't know what to do. In terms of, konti na nga ang salapi mo, kung saan saan mo pa nilalagay. Tapag the national strategy ka, pag konti ang salapi mo, alam mo, ito yung number one, yun ang una mong bigyan ng pansin. Ganun din siguro dito, no? Bakit tayo magdasyadong nag-rate rely sa foreign investment? What about domestic investment? Hindi ba natin nakita yung sinabi na nga, yung regulatory framework, yung sinabi ni Dr. Villegas kanina, kahit ang inyong mga domestic investor ay sinasakal din ang over-regulation ng ating gobyerno. Parang ang unang assumption mo, eh, ikaw ay magnanakaw, saka mo na-approve otherwise, no? Bakit ganun? In other words, well, we are so much banking in foreign direct investment. We should also bank on our local investors and talagang bigyan niya sila ng alagwa para talagang magawa nila ang kanilang ginagawa. Bigyan ko kayo ng example, no? Uh, my former boss here, uh, Senator Tolentino at the MMDA, uh, I was there with him no? uh, since 2010 as one of his consultants for the traffic management. Dinas namin, uh, Senator, I, I don't know kung nakwento ko na sa iyo to kung paano yung bureaucracy natin as I've been identified by other resource persons, no, is really one of the major obstacles to why no investment is coming in. Merong isang gripo diyan na nagtutulo. No? So sabi ko, ang bilis na, ang maladili naman bumili ng gripo, parang 200 pesos lang. Sabi ko, sundan natin kung paano magbili ng gripo. 
Alam niyo ba kung gaano ka gaano 'yon? Apat na buwan. Tinrace namin ito, Senator Tolent. Apat na buwan at 26 signatures para po makabili ng gripo. Gusto ko lang to make the point na the bureaucracy really matters. You have a Byzant Byzantine uh, bureaucracy and I have seen uh, polls of foreign investors telling you that there are two major things, critical variables that matter to them are Byzantine bureaucracy and the level of corruption. Yung ownership, that they don't matter. By the way, tama si Dr. Fabella. Ownership by Filipinos is an article of faith. It doesn't matter who owns it. Sabi ko nga sa telco, gahil, kahit, galing pa siya sa Jupiter, eh, basta magpagawa sa talaga ng internet, okay lang. Does ownership matter? No, not anymore. In the university, we're telling our students, we're training you to be citizens of the world. We are breaking down all the boundaries of the artificial nation state. We already made commitments in ASEAN for regional integration. Why, for heaven's sakes, I was always so preoccupied on, you know, keeping the nation state. It's one of the scourges of humanity, if I may say so. So, last point, yung Filipino first po, tama po si Senator Antiveros. Pasay na po yan. It should be rendered obsolescent, no? Bakit Filipino first? Because once upon a time in the past, we tried to, um, you know, to divest ourselves of all the colonial uh, things na, 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 uh, that chained us no, to the former colonial uh, rulers of our country. Wag na po tayong Filipino first. No one study I have seen thus far has demonstrated quite creditably that ownership by Filipinos work. I challenge anyone here around the table, the social scientists, meron bang ganyan? Wala po. Ownership does not matter. No? But what we really want is, in fact, I had suggested in a uh, uh, one of my papers that if our economic managers cannot, in fact, lower or eradicate the 21% of their big legacy na sinabi mo, no? na mga poor, aba maghar tayo po ng international group of economic managers, we pay them depending on the percentage of uh, increment that uh, they are going to contribute to GDP. I know this is an iconoclastic uh, viewpoint, but for God's sake, we have to be iconoclast now. You know, we are the fifth most mineralized countries in the world. We have millions of professionals. We should be embarrassed that we have 21% who are poor. Tama ba, Dr. Villegas? Tama, di ba? So I think, um, yeah, let me go back to the issue of a national strategy. I address this also to the military. Several times they have asked me to help them design their strategy for the Air Force, for the Philippine Marines, etc. I go, saan ba kayo nakatukod yung strategy nyo? Meron bang national defense plan? O kung ang isip nyo lang yan, saan magagaling yung national defense plan, Senator Po? Hindi ba magagaling yan sa national strategy? Dibuho yan eh. It's a big, big picture. And um, siguro, lastly, um, sorry, uh, Senator Angara, medyo nagsasobra na ata ako sa time po. Uh, Senator Po, you mentioned something about banning certain countries from ownership. And do I, uh, are you referring to China? Um, in the Public Service Act, any country that the president or the National Security Council views as a threat to us is actually eliminated from or banned from owning certain critical infrastructure, uh, telecommunications, for example, uh, I, I believe airports, etc. And also uh, countries that don't um, reciprocate or allow us also the same type of ownership in their country would not be allowed. That's what those are some of the safeguards we put as a compromise to those who are a little bit uh, wary about uh, this uh, Public Service Act being open. Yeah, with all due respect, I agree with the reciprocity, but the first one I don't. Because if you have a strict regulatory framework, then it can be a to whom it may concern. So I think we should not ban XYZ, whichever country. So thank you very much. Mr. Chair. Thank you, Dr. Carlos. Uh, Senator Risa, yes. Salamat, Mr. Chair. Just a quick correction for the record. With all due respect, I certainly did not say that Filipino first is a passe uh, policy. In fact, One I believe... One of your source persons. I stand corrected. Thank you, ma'am. In fact, I believe that Filipino first is a positive and dynamic principle in... Uh, formulating and constantly updating our economic policy. And lastly, Mr. Chair, at this point, 
if uh, 60 to 100 percent ownership in Filipino hands doesn't matter anyway in the big picture, then let's keep that in Filipino hands and work on the real problems identified both by those opposed to and supportive of RBH6. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Senator Risa. Uh, Mr. Chair, just a quick comment. Yes, Senator I would Risa. like to thank also Dr. Carlos for bringing up something that we haven't really discussed in our minds being focused on foreign direct investments. It's true, local businesses are also suffering. Uh, what we're trying to do is we're actually hunting in the zoo. Like uh, The ones that uh, are, are complying with the laws, paying taxes, are the ones being audited. Uh, while the ones that are in the informal economy getting away with so much, uh, we don't focus our attention on. So uh, thank you for bringing that up. Thank you, uh, Senator Risa, Senator Poe. It's definitely we're not... Uh abandoning the Filipino first. In fact, Congress just uh, passed the Tatak uh, Pinoy strategy, which is an attempt at industrial policy, albeit uh, belated, somewhat belated for the region. No? Um, Sponsored and uh, uh, offered by our chairman. Thank you for the uh, salamat sa patalasta.